morning, everybody. Jason, Hollis Farms. Headed in and see if we can hear old turkey gobble. See what's going on with them this morning. He's on here to a spot. I'm gonna kind of take a chance, but I'm not gonna get too deep on them. I hadn't listened right here in a few days, so but I'm gonna try to kind of commit a little bit and try to be in the ball game to start with. But we'll not if we're not, we'll try to get ourselves in the ball.
Look at that turkey we was on this morning. It's crazy. I'll tell y'all about him in a little bit. I fooled with him before one time. Oh. I'm fixing to get over here to a road. I heard one or two more this morning. Just kind of slip around and see if I can get one to gobble. I want to do a little walking. I ain't quite ready to leave yet. PJ. 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 Hey, come here, crazy. Come here, crazy. Hey, listen, come here. There she comes. Like a bullet. Like a bullet. There you go. There you go. Yes, ma'am. Uh oh. All right, y'all. So I let Bobo run around a little bit. Bobo, booger. What all we been calling him? I like Bobo for some reason. Bo, short. He don't care. He's happy. He's a good dog. TJ run around a while. Had a bunch of a few phone calls, a bunch of messages, and this and that. Had to attend to right here. And uh, anyway, I didn't get a whole lot on that turkey this morning. I hope I fooled with that turkey before. I, I'm whispering in the woods. I'll tell y'all a little bit about it. That's the turkey me and Sissy fooled with. That he don't gobble in the tree. He flies down and hits that field and one end of the other well the day we was there he went the other this morning he worked both of them and i was kind of back off hadn't been down there in a couple of days in that area and i just kind of i was in a good spot if he wanted to come but he don't want to come and i kind of just wanted to get in a spot where i could kind of listen around that's my cooler rattling around back there. I've never noticed that in a truck, but it being in here side with me, in here with me, that ice and water gets jumping. But anyway, right. the turkey's fairly consistent. Been in the same spot that sun gun. I watched him pitch down again. That's the second time I've watched him pitch down. He is he is no further than I think he was in a tree right on the edge. Maybe no further than 20, 30 yards off the edge. So you gotta get in there in the dark. So he has done two things consistent the two times i'm fooling with him and when you try it you know what's going to happen most likely he'll do something different but he has went to the north end twice the other time he left out um let's see he's some race he likes to go out there in that clear cut and gobble he did it again the only turkey i've ever had to do that in that type of clear cut oh uh, he went out there and gobbled and i saw the hen Two or three of the dead gum hens, they did this the last time too. They stay in the tree till 7.15, 7.30. He flies down in the dark and starts gobbling. Don't gobble in the tree. Had one hen, I saw her. I picked my camera up. I was standing up there and filmed her a little bit. And then I filmed another one on down when I was slipping around. Main thing I didn't want to do is spook anything. Cause I didn't want to. Ooh, wee, where'd that yawn come from? Um, I didn't want to change his pattern, so what i am going to try to do if i got to get up early i want i think in the morning i'm gonna get up i might get up about 3 30 and uh where i need to go i'm thinking about it a while ago i'm gonna be sitting in water possibly i may just throw my rain pants on them rain, rain pants i got is pretty quiet and ease in there and where i'm gonna get I, it ain't gonna be a tree Oh, uh, I think I might try to get down there in the dark. I'm in the dark. I've done that pretty much all year, but once or twice. And I go ahead and setting up on these things if I know kind of where they're at. So, who there's a nothing. Oh, um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. If I can, if I don't hit that snooze, and I can jump on up and get down there, get in there in the dark, come in from the north, slip in there quiet as we can, or at least look or sound like a deer and uh get in there and get in bed with him and uh i'm gonna get on that other end and just i don't i ain't gonna call i've had turkeys like this before you, you fool with them fool with them a little bit and you, you, he just one of them that unless you catch him on the perfect day he ain't coming to you he's out there go to him so i might get in there i like calling to him and all but if uh, i like shooting them too so 
if we can figure him out and get in there and get in there with him early and let him fly down and work out into the field we might do some good but i think that's what i'm gonna try but anyway got to call it a day on this one pretty good hunt a lot of gobbling oh yeah that group of bucks that come in there it was eight i think it was eight bucks could you when they first step out you know you think doe but they don't look like it and then you start they was close a couple of them was about 10 yards you can see where the horns are starting to grow back so that was interesting to see pretty good little bachelor group but anyway appreciate y'all watching out of here